What is up, you guys? Today we're going to be doing a little different style of video. Um, we're going to be sitting down chit-chatting with you guys about where I've been lately and why I haven't been making so many videos. Um, as you guys know, I used to make videos pretty often, a few times a week, sometimes every day. <laughs> um, I was really involved in the sport when I first got into it, and I just haven't been as involved this summer. It's just been really hot, mostly, um, is the main reason. I haven't fallen out of love with the sport. I still love the game, and I still would love to come out here and play every day for you guys. Um, we just had a couple of life things go on, and I haven't been able to make time to come out here and provide these videos for you guys. Over the past month or so, I have started a new job, working pretty much full time, and I'm just haven't had a lot of time. I'm still working the pizza place also at night, uh, three days a week. So I just haven't had a lot of time to come out here um, in between jobs and make a video for you guys. But I wanted to come out here today and um, let you guys know about number one giveaway I'm going to be doing at a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're getting pretty close. We're almost to 950, which is amazing. I love you guys so much. I can't believe that we've gotten this far in just a year's time. It's actually crazy that we're at almost a thousand subscribers. And I, I just, I think about that a lot. I think about like, I can't imagine a thousand people being here right now with me. Like that's a lot of freaking people. I, I you can't fit a thousand people in a room together. Like that's a lot of people. I think about that a lot. I can't, I can't imagine that there's that many people out here that, that enjoy watching me talk to a camera. So anyway, enough jibber jabber. We're going to get right into it. We're going to be doing an in the bag as well. So make sure you guys stick, stick to the end of the video to hear more about the giveaway that we're going to be doing. I've been stacking up this giveaway pile, so you guys should be excited. We've got a we got a pretty big number one prize. We're gonna be giving away five prizes and the number one prize, you guys are gonna love it. Anyways, we're gonna get right into the in the bag. Um, uh, I am still working with Upper Park, still sponsored by Fly Factory, all of that, okay? We're still, we're still good there, all right? Nothing's changed there. Hopefully next year we can still continue to be on with these same teams, okay? Anyways, we're gonna hop right into my in the bag this year, uh, it has changed a good bit since the beginning of this year when I was throwing a lot of thought space athletics. I'm not really throwing a lot of thought space anymore, guys. I don't know. It's not that they're that I don't like their discs. I've just kind of ever since I was working at Flight Factory for a little while, I felt a lot of discs um, and I talked to a ton of people about discs and my bag has definitely changed a good bit. OK, so we're going to get right into it with the putters. My uh, putting putters, I am still putting with pixels. It's probably about time to get a new pair. I've had these this pair since they came out. Um, yeah, 172 gram and 173 gram pixels. I do throw the pink one every now and then. So yeah, I just, I've really been liking the pixels. If you guys have been keeping along since the beginning, you guys know I've changed putters a lot. And the pixel is the putter I have, have stumbled across since it came out. Um, it, it's been the one putter that I have not even thought about changing. I, I love these putters and I will stick with pixels until I get sponsored by a team. Perhaps these will be my putting putters. Look at this bag. You guys, this bag is so awesome. I've got, let me see, one, two, 20 discs in this bag with room for water bottle. You guys can't really see, but there's a huge space there. I could fit another five, six, seven discs in there if I wanted to, if I didn't care about water. So going on to the putters, these are going to be mostly throwing putters or approach discs. Um, so I do throw the pixels every now and then if I want just like a nice straight, maybe understable approach disc. But for the most part, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be pulling out one of these. Um, we've got the Electron Firm Envy. This is my most understable. And you guys have definitely seen me throw or I used to putt with this back in the day and it has since become a throwing putter for me. Nice and straight throwing putter to slightly understable. Um, the Envy is just such a nice disc. If you guys haven't thrown an Electron Envy, I highly recommend it. Now their Neutrons and stuff are great. I had the Eagle McMahon Envy. I did a review on that. They're great, very overstable. I love the Electron Envy a little bit more for my game personally. Moving on. 
Uh, I guess we could go over the Berg. Um, now this is more of a forehand approach disc. Like when I'm on the left side of the woods and I need to chip something out and I can't throw it backhand because the woods are in the way. This thing is amazing for some Anheuser chops. It's gonna fly like you threw a backhand, but on a forehand. I absolutely love the Berg. If you haven't tried the Berg, again, I would highly recommend checking that out. Lots of hate on that disc. Don't, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. For my straight flying putter, we've got the Luna. Straight to slightly stable. Um, this is a big Z Luna. As you guys can see, it's got a good bit of Z mixture in it, meaning it's nice and transparent. Um, even though this is big Z, it looks like Z plastic. This is like basically the same one that, that you'll see a B throwing. Um, this is like the same kind of plastic blend. Other big Z Lunas I've thrown are so understable, it's hilarious. They're like, they literally fly like a fierce or something like that. It's so flippy. My buddy has one, same stamp, same plastic, big Z blue. And it is, it looks like it's made of titanium plastic. First of all, it's got that more of that blend in it. And um, that thing is so flippy compared to this. So, so flippy. So I would highly recommend going to get a yellow Luna Big Z if you can, if you can find one. They're definitely hard to find. For my overstable putter, uh, I don't throw it a lot. I just I mainly bag it because look how cool it looks. Holes and stuff in this thing, absolutely insane ohm. This ohm specifically for me is 175 grams max weight. It's pretty it's pretty overstable. Uh, I don't throw it a lot, like I said, because. Honestly, if I'm going to be throwing an overstable putter, I'll probably just throw like my tempo or something like that. But yeah, this thing, if I really, if I really need something that I want to fly like the Luna, but maybe I'll be a little bit more overstable, a little bit more trusty in the open field, like wind type situation. That's when I'm going to pull that out. For my last like putter approach style disc, you guys know the soft yarn. Uh, this has been my zone like disc for a while now. I, I have fallen in love with the yarn. I, you guys know I was on a quest for a little while to find a good zone like disc that I really liked. I do like the zone, don't get me wrong, but the zone was just a little too straight for me. It wasn't quite overstable enough. The zone OS is way too overstable. It doesn't feel good in the hand. I was looking for a zone disc, a zone like disc that was a little bit more overstable. I was doing the temple last time and the temple is very nice, very overstable. I love the base plastic. It just beats in a little too fast for me. This K1 soft yarn, it, it's indestructible and nice and overstable. Very reliable disc. I love this thing. I love the feel. Nice and sticky, hit and sit. Like, it, I, I love this. This has changed my approach game so, so much. Moving on to the mid ranges. All right. I bag four mids right now. We'll start with our most understable being this OTB Open Paradox. Now, this thing is so fun to throw. If you guys can't quite get the flip on a lobster or a mana or any kind of disc like that, I definitely would go check out this Paradox. The Paradox is so understable. Anybody can make this disc flip over. Um, it is so, so, so much fun. Throw it on a hyzer, it's gonna stand up and drift right. It is so, so fun for getting those long turnover shots. and it, But it's not too flippy like the Rolo or something where it just wants to burn over and roll every time. And it, Super nice disc. Moving up in stability, this is kind of my straight flying mid slot, the, um, sort of like that hex slot, the detour. I have really come to like this detour a lot. Super nice swirls, of course, from Flight Factory, but really come to like this detour a lot it's not quite as understable as you would think it, it really for like us lower arm speeds like 350 average throwers and you're throwing mid-range is like 300 feet maybe this is going to be a nice straight flying mid-range for you it's not going to be too um sometimes a hex can be a little bit stable if you get the right one well not over stable obviously but this right out of the box flies like a beat in hex, which is my favorite kind of hex is a beat in hex. So really, really love the detour. Super excited when this thing came out. If you guys haven't seen my detour video, make sure you go check that out. 
Um, we do also have, I forgot while we were in the approach disc category, we are also bagging the Tempo. I, I failed to mention that when I was doing the approach disc category. So the Tempo, the tempo for me is like a little, it's more like a zone, okay? It's more like a straight zone. Uh, it's kind of a little bit less stable than the yarn. Um, still nice and reliable fade, but it goes straight for a lot longer period of time. So if I don't, if I really don't want to crank on the yarn and if I feel like I can't get the yarn quite, quite far enough, I'll throw the, uh, the tempo there. So for our really overstable mid range, this one is the pyro muffin top. You guys know it's got that little muffin. Love, love, love this disc. You can pick up this Madison Walker stamp at flight factory. Pyro is amazing. Okay. Moving on from mid ranges, we're going into our fairway drivers. So seven to nine speeds. Um, I do carry mostly fairway drivers. They're probably one of my favorite discs to throw, even in, unless I'm in a wide open field and I'm going like trying to hit 400 feet, then I'll put, I'll maybe bust out a distance driver. But for the most part in the woods, any kind of distance shot, I'm probably throwing a fairway driver for the control. So for our one and only seven speed, we've got the Brave. The Brave is such an awesome disc. It can be stable. It can be understable. It just depends on what angle you put it on. It's one of those discs that definitely holds whatever angle you put it on. Super easy, fun to throw, very comfortable. And Royal Grand Plastic is probably one of the best plastics in the game. I've talked a lot about the Brave already in the past, so we'll put that one up. Moving on to our nine speed fairway drivers. These are probably my favorite style discs in the game. I throw mostly nine speeds, probably, and or the Brave. I throw mostly fairway drivers and mids. Um, so we're going to be moving on to our most understable fairway driver, the H7. I bagged this H7 for a while now. You guys saw it in my last in the bag. Super, super understable fairway driver, but it will come back. It does have a little bit of fade, but this thing flies what I've always wanted a Roadrunner to fly like, okay? Roadrunner and the heat and stuff like that, they're a little bit more stable than the numbers suggest. Nine, five, negative four, one. You would expect that disc to be super understable, but if you throw a Roadrunner with this, it's got the same numbers as this, it's not as understable as a negative four one, okay? Unless you're Calvin Heimberg or something, right? Um, this thing is gonna fly more understable for you guys if you are looking for that slot. Super comfortable in this 500 plastic, no flashing, nothing like that. This is the one and only Prodigy disc I bag right now. Moving on to probably my favorite disc in my bag. One of the first discs, this is actually the very first disc I bought at Flight Factory the Eric Oakley Dynasty. I bought this trying to replace my Saint, which was my very first ace. Nine, seven, negative one, two are the numbers on the Saint. So this is a nine, five, negative one, two. I, I was very green back in the day. I didn't know um, what the numbers and stuff meant. I didn't know that different plastics affect the stability. So I just walked into Flight Factory and picked out the coolest nine, five, negative one, two that I could find. And that just happened to be this Eric Oakley Dynasty. Now, when I first got this, it did not fly like my Saint at all. It flew very, very overstable. Um, but as, since then, it has been lost in a turtle hole for uh, about a month. And my buddy went and picked it up out of there, gave it back to me. And uh, yeah, this has become probably my favorite disc in my bag today. I don't know what I would do if I lost this disc because... It would take me so long to beat in another dynasty to fly like this one. Like I couldn't just go get another dynasty and I would have to beat that. Oh my gosh. I'd have to beat the crap out of that disc to get it to fly like that one. But yeah, probably my favorite disc in my bag. Moving on, we have our overstable slot. Um, I'm bagging two discs for this slot right now. I don't really use this Firebird as much. This is the Halo Firebird. Very, very overstable. This is more of a utility disc for me. Um, I don't really use it a whole lot. Mostly in my overstable slot, I'm throwing the Scepter, which flies more like a Nate Sexton Color Glow Firebird. If you've ever thrown one of those, you know that they are not as overstable as normal Firebirds, as typical Firebirds. The Color Glow plastic feels amazing. This is literally a Nate Sexton Firebird. I don't care what anybody says. 
you wipe the stamp on this, it's a Firebird. It flies exactly like a Nate Sexton Firebird, which is the best Firebird you can get. Let's be real. Moving on to distance drivers. Um, we'll start with the flippiest one first, and then we'll go up from there. So we are flying this MVP Wave for my really flippy disc. This is 170 grams. I was getting this to kind of be like my bomber disc and stuff like that. And it, I, it just is so flippy every time I throw it. It does bomb. Don't get me wrong. It, it is a bomber. But if I really want some long distance turnover shots or if I'm just going for a max distance shot, I'm either going to be throwing this or my Strive. But this one is definitely a little bit more understable being 170 grams. Fission Wave, by the way. Um yeah, very, very flippy. Super fun to throw. Next up, we've got the Strive, as I mentioned. Um, 13.5, negative 1, 3. Does not fly like a 13.5, negative 1, 3. You guys have heard me talk about the Strive. You've probably seen my video on the Strive. Okay, camera cut off while I was talking about the Strive. Um, but moving on from the Strive, we got the Grace. You guys have seen me talk about the Strive. Go check out my Strive video if you want to see that. So moving up from the Strive, we have... The Kristen Tatar Grace. This is the Halo Grace. Um, love this cotton candy color. It looks super sick. I've, I've kind of always thrown a Grace in the in and out of the bag. Um, it's one of my favorite discs to throw for windy situations in the woods where I need some control. Super nice being an 11 speed. I was just talking about how the Strive is a little bit thick being a 13 speed for my baby hands. But this 11 speed is super, super comfortable for me. Um, yeah, very nice and reliable, very nice and stable. Now, if I need something a little bit more stable, then I'm going to be busting out the time lapse. I've had this time lapse since they came out. This is the Neutron Special Edition. I really only use this disc if I really have some crazy headwinds or I need a big skip or something like that. This that's when I'm going to be pulling out this disc or like a big forehand chop. It's kind of like a utility disc in the driver slot. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my mid-year in the bag. Okay, so let's talk about the giveaway for a little while. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, as I said before. So we don't have an exact date yet because we haven't hit that subscriber mark, and I don't know exactly when we're going to. Hopefully hopefully it's going to be soon. Um, but, yeah, I want to let you guys know a couple things we're going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away to the grand prize winner a Calvin Heimberg signed disc. I'll show you guys a picture of that up on the screen. It is a Vela, I'm pretty sure, a Vela uh, by Millennium Disc, flat top Vela. And we're also going to be giving away an Atlas bag to the second place winner. And then third and fourth and fifth place winners are going to be getting a pick from the giveaway pile. All right, so if you guys are interested in getting in this giveaway, it's going to be on this video. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, Eric G Disc Golf. Okay, and also make sure you leave a comment on this video and let me know what your favorite disc in your bag is. Okay, it can be any disc, any manufacturer. I wanna know what your favorite disc in your bag is and why. You don't have to tell me why, I guess. Just let me know what your favorite disc is, okay? I would love to hear what you guys are throwing and um, I, I mentioned, as I mentioned, my favorite disc is this Halo Dynasty. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Um, so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Comment your favorite disc down below to be get entered in the giveaway. So, yeah, guys, sorry I haven't been posting as much. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll be uh, seeing you all on the next one. So if you guys are interested in seeing some more of me, we are going to be posting on the Eric G's Fishing Channel. Um, new channel I've started related to fishing content stuff like that so if you guys are interested in anything like that make sure you go subscribe to that channel we'll leave a link down in the description yeah i appreciate it love you guys peace